What's up guys, my name is Darkshock124 and this is a how to set up your AvaMedia USB HD DVR or if you live outside of the US um, Dark Crystal HD Capture Station Alright So this is what it's going to look like It's a pretty big box not a pretty big unit type thing and it's very simple to set up. If you can't set it up, like, no, I think you might be retarded. It comes with the box, the USB cable, IR blaster, big component cable, that one there. It goes, hangs up around the back there. Um, and a power supply. So, first things first, plug the power supply into the wall. Then plug this into the box. Alright. Now, you're going to need a component cable for your PS3. Then that goes into the back of the PS3, just like your AV cables. But instead of going into the back of your TV, this is mine here, it goes into the back of the HD DVR. And make sure you get them all into the right order, because I did the two red ones in the wrong order, and my first few recordings were fucked. So now grab the now grab the one that was provided to you, this big thick bastard. Plug them all in the back there, and then they go around the back and into your TV. Now your TV probably won't look like this. It'll probably just look like those five, just all plugged in. The only reason this is plugged into that is because that's what plugs into my PX Twenty Ones. And this is just allows me to not have to plug it in every time. Now the cables themselves are gold plated, so um, I'm not exactly sure what that does to it. But I think it makes it a bit more high quality. So then what you want to do is you want to grab your USB cable, plug that into the back there into the specific thing, and you want to grab your CD, and you're going to install the software. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab this end of the USB and then it goes into this port on the computer here in which it fits in. Alright, that's a good noise. Then what you want to do is you want to turn your PlayStation on. Then turn your TV on. Then you want to go to this media converter here. Oh, not media converter. Uh, there's a record one. You know, press record. And this big this big screen's gonna pop up. Not this one. This is just far. Um you wanna on the source you wanna click down to Avermedia USB HD capture. Now this is the only program that works with this. Um and it is limited. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna drop your video output which is gonna be on composite video normally, which is the red white and red ones on the front of it and you want to drop it down to YPBPR which is component which is going to give you 720p then this should be all set um, I'm going to change the bit rate to a bit bigger so I'm going to change that to 10,000 and you can set your capture volume I would um, untick enable preview and recording um, you can't change the save format, it saves the TS, which is kind of fucked. Um, so if we do some move, it is definitely one second delay. Easy. And any clicks you hear is coming out of the computer. So you can see there's a bit of a delay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture a little video and I'm going to put this at the end of it. So you're going to capture it. You're gonna, I'm going to move around a bit, it's not going to show up. You can see me moving around on the TV here. So blah blah blah, moving around. That's good enough. It's only seven seconds long. So we're gonna go to my videos now. Gonna get to the documents. Then videos. Um, here it is. Here, so that seven second video is eight megabytes. Not big at all. You can close your this down. And this one should still be open. Then you want to go to utilities. Click on that. And it's going to open an ArcSoft Media Converter, which can convert these um, .ts files. 
uh, select Sony and then Sony PS3 because that will maintain your um, HD. Then you want to grab your video. Now this can take a long time for an 8 minute video for example a game of um, Black Ops, a game of like, Team Deathmatch or something that can take up to 20 minutes. This one's probably not going to take long at all. Yeah, you can see it's kind of flying through it. Um, I set the CPU priority to high because if I wanted to go on the computer I'd just jump on the desktop. Uh, so we're done now. And if you navigate to that folder there, the ArcSoft Media Converter in my documents. Um, you can see we've got a 4 megabyte file. And it seems to run very good. And now you can open this in um, Sony Vegas or whatever you're going to use to record it. And then you can commentate over it, which is how you do it. Um, if I was going to review this, I'd give it an A because it does work flawlessly. It does what you want it to do. Um, it's a shame that you can't get it to record anything other than TS. But it's not much of a hassle to convert it to an MP4, so it's usable. Anyway, it's Darkshock124 and I'm out and this is the video.